Hello dear viewers, I am Khan Bahadur, Assistant Professor of Statistics and you are watching a video from my YouTube channel Statistics by Khan. Dear viewers, I hope all of you will be doing great. Dear viewers, this YouTube channel Statistics by Khan has been created for basic statistics with a view to help the beginner students of statistics, the researchers of all fields and other learners of basic statistics. I have also a Facebook page and group with the same name Statistics by Khan. You can visit them for steps related to basic statistics. Dear viewers, for better understanding of concepts in my video, I would recommend you to watch the full video. After watching the full video, I assure you, you will understand the concepts very clearly. Dear viewers, today's lecture is about group data. So let's start the lecture. Basically, we have two types of group data. One is discrete group data, the other is continuous group data. Okay. So now, what is group data? When the individual data related to a variable are classified or grouped, it's called group data. Now, we have two subtypes of group data. One is discrete group data and the other is continuous group data. So, discrete group data. Okay. So discrete group data is when the individual data are classified or grouped on the basis of the discrete values of the variable is called discrete group data. Uh, we have another type of uh, uh, group data that is continuous group data. So let's define that uh, continuous group data too. <coughs> Okay, now continuous group data. When the individual data are classified or grouped on the basis of intervals constructed from all possible different values of the variable. So instead of discrete values, if we make some intervals from all possible values of the variable and then this individual data are classified or grouped among those intervals, then the resulted data set is called continuous group data. Okay, so now I will give two examples, one related to discrete group data and the other related to continuous group data. I think that will help you in understanding these two uh, types of group data. Suppose we have a data on uh, family size. Family size means the number of members in a family. So uh, if x denotes the variable family size, so it may take a uh, value from 2 to 12, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think uh, the minimum members in a family might be 2 and the maximum uh, family size or the maximum uh, members in a family will be 12. It may be more than 12, but okay, we have restricted only to 12 just for the sake of understanding. Okay, so now these are all possible values of a variable x. There might be hundreds of families, but each family will uh, take a value from only these possible values. Some family might be having three family members, some family might be having eight family members, some family might be having six family members, but there will be no in, uh, there will be no uh, such family that will can that will take a value other than these 12. Maybe 14, 15, but okay, just we have restricted this 12 uh, up to 12. So now the number of different values of this variable uh, is 11. Different values, different possible values for this variable is 11. So that's why we have written these discrete numbers. This is possible to represent uh, each uh, uh, value by discrete number of the variable. So this is related to this. Okay, uh, so uh, for example, uh, there are five families that have two family members. Uh, there are 25 families which have uh, same family members and so on. So this is uh, a type of uh, uh, discrete group data because the variable x uh, contains discrete values. Now related to the second type of group data that is continuous group data, we assume a variable age. Age is a variable 
of hundreds of people so we are interested uh, in age and years so uh, if the age variable if y denotes the age variable so its possible value in terms of years might be from 1 to uh, 1 2 3 up to maybe maximum we are restricting to 120 so this variable may take 120 different values so if you write each value is a discrete number of the variable or if we write uh, each value of the variable in a discrete form so it will take so long and it will be so extended form that it will not be understandable so in such cases when the different values of the variable are more than 15 or 20 so then what do we do we are making intervals from these discrete values of the variable and in the resulting data is then called continuous group data so this is the definition when the individual data are classified are grouped on the basis of intervals constructed from all possible different values of the variable so in this case we can write the values of variable y enter uh, in form of intervals like, like this uh, from 1 to 10 from 11 to 20 from 21 to 30 from 31 to 40 and so on uh, from 111 to 120 so in the corresponding frequencies this there how many persons are having age from 1 to 10 so write that number for example 350 how many persons are lying in this group so write that number how many persons are lying in this age group so write the corresponding number and so on so then this resulted data set this is called continuous and this one is called discrete group data that is continuous group data and this is discrete group data group data okay now let me tell you two important things many students they are assuming this is ungrouped data and I have seen in many books as well sometimes they classify this as discrete group data and another time they are classifying this as ungrouped data so do, do remember both of them are group data this is discrete group data why because the variable x contains discrete values and this is continuous group data why uh, variable y contains interval of values constructed from all possible values of y so this is continuous group data and this is uh, discrete group data finally when to transform the individual data into discrete group data and when to transform the individual data into continuous group data so if different values of a variable are 15 or lesser so then we will transform the individual data into discrete groups as we have seen in this uh, hypothetical example similarly if different values of the variable are more than 20 or more than 15 so then we will transform individual data into continuous group data so there are no hard fast rules that when to transform individual data into discrete group data and when to transform individual data into continuous group data but usually statisticians transform individual data into discrete group data when different values of the variable are 15 or around about 15 they transform individual data into continuous group data when the when different values of the variable are more than 15 or so so these were all about group data and that's all from my side for group data thank you for watching the video